I swear to God, this is the single most important thing. Like if you take nothing else from this talk, you will basically reach it because if you have enough pain, you'll figure everything else out. The effort that you need to spend to go out there day after day, week after week, month after month, facing the rejection, speaking to women, having them ignore you, getting numbers and having them flake on you, all of this sort of stuff, getting first dates, but there's no sexual tension, getting date number twos and then they say, oh, let's just be friends, going back to their place and she gets last minute resistance and she actually doesn't want to do it, all of this sort of stuff. How do you actually find it within yourself to go for all that crap? Well, the first thing that you need is you need a strong reason why. If you don't have a strong reason why, you won't do it. I'll explain. Your brain fights tooth and nail to keep you the same. So in the developing years, like up to about seven or eight, your brain is looking at the world and the things that you see around you and the way people treat you and the things that people directly say to you and your brain is saying to you, this is who you are, this is the kind of person that you are, this is the way the world is and this is what you need to be in order to survive. Like survive, literally, you need to be like this in order to survive. So then, when you decide that you want to learn something, anything, anything that's hard and difficult that causes your brain to change, your brain gets terrified because like, hold on, this isn't, this doesn't gel with the program. We need, we're not Mr. Confident. The way that we survive is we survive by being the lovable loser. That's the way that we survive. That's how we know that we're safe in the world. Your brain will then do every freaking thing that it can to get you to not follow through. The point I'm trying to make to you is you need to show your brain how staying the same is more painful than changing. But then you go, Kieran, how do I actually do that? And then I say, bro, here's how you do that. Write down a list of all the ways that you have been raping yourself by staying the way that you are. And when I say a list of all the ways, I mean all the ways. You want this list to be painful as all hell. So some ideas off the top of my head, it's like, okay, no, not good with women, staying the same. What's that? So, oh crap, all of the money that I've spent wasted on women, like trying to buy them drinks in nightclubs and they have the drink for a minute and then they just walk off. All of the money I've wasted there. All of the times when I was with girls, let's say there's a time when you like a girl and your friend likes the girl but your friend is the one with the balls, so your friend talks to the girl, your friend gets the girl. You really like this girl, though, really. You're almost like in love with her. And you have to watch your friend with this girl that you're in love with. All times when you've been friend-zoned. You know, when you were friend-zoned because you weren't masculine enough or you were, you didn't have the courage to show your sexual side to this woman and then she friend-zoned you and just decided she didn't really want to be with you. But you're still friends with her. And you've got that gap. There's that gap in between you and her. You don't know how to cross that chasm. How do you actually cross that chasm? You can't cross it, but you're frustrated. You're frustrated. And maybe you're jerking off to this girl as well. Women who've taken advantage of you. Maybe there's women who like you constantly took out for dates and stuff and you were buying them food. You're doing all this stuff, but the, they, they never let you get anywhere. Cast your mind forward to the future. You continue into the future. What's your life like? Um. I never know what it's like to be with a beautiful woman. I never know what it's like to be with beautiful women. I never get to experience having a cool social circle of friends who invite me to go and do things and aren't happy when I can't do it. You'll never have a great relationship with a great woman. You might have a relationship, but what kind of woman are you gonna get if you don't actually have what it takes to attract a really high quality woman? That means you're gonna get the dregs. What's it like when you're with the dregs? Um, I don't know. Insecure relationship, bad sex, no attraction, miserable, no hobbies, unhappy marriage, unhappy children, divorce, prostitution, I don't know, cheating, think think of all of the ways that you're hurting yourself and you want this list of ways to be so painful that it actually makes you cry 
but you also need to know how your life will be benefited by making this change. How will it be better? Tell yourself that, write, write all of this stuff down. Well, okay, if I improve my skills with women, oh, sex with beautiful women, that's nice. Living out my fantasies in real life rather than just with my right hand while looking at my phone, that's nice. Threesomes, that's nice. Going to cool parties, that's nice. Social circle, that's nice. Circle of friends, well I said that, but that's nice. Great relationships with great women, that's nice. Instagram DMs, that's nice. Women sending me pictures, that's nice. Emotional connection, that's nice. And uh, yeah, there you go, man. Like when you got that list of stuff, like the good and the bad, you will find that you have what it takes to get the job done. But really, don't give up though, that's the point. Just don't give up, don't give up. Do that list. Look at that list all the time as well. It's another thing, look at that list. Like you want that list to become internalized. It's not just enough to make those lists, those two lists, the good and the bad, and then to just throw them away. You want them to become like a part of your psyche so that when you're in situations where you would ordinarily give up, you keep going. So that when you're scared to do X, Y, and Z, you keep going. <laughs>